Hello, welcome back to Code Box Automation Lab. This is Sherpal. This is the continuation of REST API testing with Cypress. In this lecture, we're going to demonstrate how to validate contain value. Contain value, it's like body name value. So let's go back to our, our BS code. So before we go to the BS code, you know, we'll see uh, in our REST API, uh, you know, the Co uh, link over here. This is our REST API link. And we're going to pass the value over here 25 that we all, all of our previous uh, uh, example has been used in this, uh, you know, uh, endpoint. So we're going to use the same endpoint. So if you haven't seen the previous uh, lecture, so please watch from the scratch from the beginning of the API testing so that you can follow the you know, the flow and the, the style and the, you know, the introduction part, everything, and you have the right approach to understand that, you know, the what uh, API endpoint we're using and, and other company too. So let's click and submit. So I'm going to just explain to you what does it mean the body contain uh, like name value. So this is our endpoint. If we go here, uh, you can see over here the return 25. So here you can see, right? This is our endpoint and it's response. You know, it, you can see name attribute, which is the body, part of the body, and it's the value is Pikachu. So we're going to validate, is that a name attribute is returning the Pikachu? Is that a matching with our expected value? Uh, the key, key value, it's uh, Pikachu. Okay, you can see over here also underneath the response, uh, you will find it over here if you go just make sure you match with the, your API endpoint. Here we go. So 25, this is the 25. So it should be over here. You can see this name equals to Pikachu, right? So let's now go back to our VS Code. So I'm not going to explain again all those things. You know, this is the same, you know, uh, the continuation of uh, uh, the example, right? So let's copy, make another test cases, which is another it block. So I'm just going to copy from my, our previous exercise and paste it over here. And then just, you know, change the, the parameter over here, like it block, I would say API test. So since this is the name value, so API test, I would say validate name value and then rest is fine so this is our api endpoint which is our request so we call so we use the sci request and it's make a call and then it's uh you know uh hold the response in a variable like ls and so we get the response over here cy uh, cy.get and then it's now we're going to use over here uh body so inside the response underneath the response we're locating the body so inside the body what we are looking so we're going to make some assertions should so we're going to do the assertion with name attribute the value of the name attribute so we're not equal we're going to use over here include include and here now we have to pass the attribute name and also the value right so name what's the attribute name is it's the name which is the uh, body attribute and the, what's the value let's copy let's copy the from here what's the value value is we capture this one okay place this right here and then save it And then now you run it. So npx, so I press open. Let's run the load, load runner. So okay. this is our spec file, open it. It should pass all the test cases. Here we go, you can see the the first test cases, which is our first tutorial was uh, validating the headers, it's pass. And then 
you know, status was 200, was passed to, and the finally, this is the name value, the validated the name value, which is over here, you can see the accession, the expected, it's, it's return an object. When you validate your uh, body component, like your body attribute, any attribute inside the body, it's return an object, right? So it's returning an object, which is uh, matching, you know, the key value, which is Pikachu, okay? So that's a way, you know, it is very simple way, and that's a way you can validate any, a, you know, the attribute inside the body. Okay, so that's all for today. Thanks a lot. Stay tuned. And there is a lot more, you know, the complex example we're going to use on our upcoming uh, tutorial. Have a good one. Bye-bye.